been 200 years since the fall of America. Our cities are now surrounded by walls for our protection. But the issue with walls is there's no more room to go outward. We have been experiencing a food shortage for the last 10 years. There have been riots, murders, looting. It has been hectic. As an agriculture specialist here at Frontier, I have been tasked and assigned with planting arable fields outside the wall. Can we save this city? Let's find out. Now looky there, all bright and early, grass growing in, growth stage three of three, one more month and we'll have a perfect harvest off of there. Well, hello and welcome back everybody. We are here on episode three of Saving Frontier. I don't think we got anything really to do in October. Let me look around, figure out what I got to do. Yeah, well, it turns out I do have nothing to do in October. So let's go ahead and head back over here and do what I really want to do in real life, which is sleep for a good month, probably even longer. But hey, let's do it. We are here in the month of November now. It is bright and early. Sun hadn't came up fully yet and grass is ready to harvest. So we need to get something to harvest this. As you can tell, our money is dropping quite a bit. I do have a pretty high loan out there and a few items leased I should probably get rid of, but I'll figure that out later. But let me get the sun to come up a little more and then we'll get started you know what i'm not gonna waste any time with getting a small mower pull behind tractor mower type or anything like that i'm just gonna go ahead and get this i mean that mowing is gonna be a large part of our job here in frontier so let's go ahead and get this big old one right here it's gonna help us out quite a bit four hundred two thousand dollars obviously i can't buy it so let's lease it i'm going a little crazy with these leases yeah, as far as bellers go i'm gonna go with this quick quick bell really love it and with the foil color i don't know if y'all can figure out what color that is but that is is John Deere green color. I don't know, something a little different and to probably make somebody mad. Auto Sim Crew, this John Deere green is for you. I know how much you love John Deere. So there you go. But I did put the case logo on it. Love how that's an option. Got some silage additive to it. Let's buy this. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's lease it for now. I think I'll try to buy everything after I make a big sell of all this silage. Now I do need some silage additive to this and this over here is extremely cheap. Let's see here, $67 for 60 liters of it. Yeah, that is really, really cheap compared to what I would have paid for that pallet. The pallet's like $3,000. I don't know if that's a mess up or what. I don't know how much silage additive really costs in real life. Well, this is off and going and we already got one silage bill. <laughs> so this is probably gonna be a lot of silage bills. We'll find out. I do have a bell counter and if y'all wanna play a fun little game here and take a guess of how much you think we'll get go ahead and slap that down in the comment section love to see what y'all think and no cheating here we go here's the trailer i'm gonna go with this one is kind of newer to the mod hub i usually go with a 30 foot flatbed i mean there's a 40 foot option so i'm gonna try out the 40 foot option and see how well it works out it's gonna cost me thirty three thousand four hundred dollars but i'm gonna go ahead and lease it now just because i don't know how well it's gonna work with it being a new mod and of course i did go with the case ih colors so we got 26 bells per trailer looks like i can't remember what 30 footer was i think it was 18 maybe i don't know i'm using it on my other series so i'm sure i'll see it eventually and know the answer i think it's 18 but i don't know what i'm gonna do with these bells right now let dump them off somewhere i was thinking about getting some sort of uh bin to hold them all but i'll just leave them out for right now while i'm out here picking up these silage bells i got a phone call from the mayor i guess he's checking his fancy security cameras he's got up there on the wall and he was yelling at me asking why i'm doing silage bells he said don't forget, you got to get that wheat and sorghum to those people. That's top priority. And I tried to explain to him that stuff doesn't grow overnight. And I am on top of it and not to worry about it. You know, I don't even know if saving Frontier is really even worth it with the way this mayor is. Ugh. But this is where I grew up, and this is my home. My father before me, he was a farmer here. And as this place grew, we just started to run into more and more problems with food shortages. And a few of the locals reached out to me and let me know what they needed. And silage was one of them, and so was canola. But I asked the mayor for a list before I even started this, and he didn't give it to me. So, oh well. And for the moment of truth, let's find out how many silage bells we just got here. Well, they're grass bells now. They're going to turn into silage. But if you guessed 100 130 you are correct and i don't know how i got it so perfect but that was five trailer fulls exactly i'm shocked I, I really don't know how it got so perfect i couldn't have even planned it that good but no it's all done and i missed little bits and pieces here and there as you may be able to tell right here i don't know it was going pretty fast 
That might be why it did that, but I don't care. It's fine. Now, next up for this field is we need to lime it and fertilize it, and I'm going to roll it so I can get into a faster growth stage also. I do have a roller, but I need a grassland care roller. So let's go ahead and get this one right here. It's going to be 12.3 meters wide and going to cost us $33,800. And I'll just go ahead and buy that. I know I'm going to use it quite a bit. So yeah, let's go ahead and buy it. I'm sure I'm going to be regretting that. But liming's done, fertilizing's done. All that's left is I need to roll it. For those of you that don't know, if you roll the grass, it will advance it on its growth stage. So over here is where it just says harvest it. So next month would be one of three. But with me rolling it, it's going to change it to growth stage one of three now. So next month will be two of three. That's the idea. That is if it grows this month. I don't know. I mean, it stops growing over winter time. I'm not sure exactly when it is. And one other thing to help us get this area looking even more green and fertilized a little better is let's get some bees. I'm going to go ahead and place this in right here. It's going to be close to our canola field and our sorghum field here. I don't think it does anything for grass. So that's why I didn't put it over here. I'm not 100% sure if it does or not. It says no pallet location available, so I need to drop in a pallet location also. And I'll just drop that in right here. Not sure how many spawn in there. I've never used this one before, but we'll figure it out. All done with that grass field. We have 975,000 liters of grass, which we'll turn over to silage. I believe the same exact number. But the best sell price for that is in January, and we are in November. So it looks like we get to sleep a couple more months, which would be really cool if I could do that. It's now 10 a.m. in January, and we got a busy day. We need to... To get some of the silage transported over to the Ravenwood farm because they're the ones that asked for this and we're gonna go get it sold there. I don't know if that's the best selling price or not. Let's take a look. It says the biogas plant is the best selling price. Oh well. And the lowest is Ravenwood farm. Oh man. So we'll take a load over to Ravenwood farm, a load over to the animal dealer, and then rest of it we'll take to the biogas plant. Here we go. Pulling in now and I'm pretty glad I took the tractor instead of the truck. I don't even know if the truck could pull this but this is a very bumpy area and it was would have got stuck. I believe I just sell it right here. Let's see if I can figure this out. Maybe right there. Well, that little bit that sold there was $76,808 plus a 4,729 environmental score. Let's see what else we get. I'll just load it right back up and unload it again. And that right there was $34,502 plus a 2,124 environmental score. That is great. Now let's see if I can get out of this place. <laughs> it's kind of a tight fit up in here. We are now at the animal dealer. And I believe I just back it up right here and sell it. Not too sure. Let's see if I can try to get it all in one cell. Keep going. Just keep going. And got it all. Perfect. $111,824 plus a 6,885 environmental score reward. That is awesome. That's some good money right there. We are going to be making some good money here. And I'm sure I am going to waste it. Well, while I was there at the animal dealer, they asked me if I can make another delivery to them. So I'll get a whole nother trailer full and deliver there. And then rest of it will go to the BGA. And oh man, slow down, slow down, slow down. Ooh. Oh man, that was, that was a close one. Every time I come through this intersection, that train is always there, I'm telling you. And yes, I did clear out all the sand over here and opened up that gate, as you may be able to tell. I did not pick up and sell the sand. I just used the smoothing tool or paint tool to clear it. I am kind of regretting that. I could use the money, but it was the fastest option. Well, I didn't realize I could kind of pull through that barn there. That pretty nice. Hopefully it gets it all sold just right here. Let's find out. Oh man. I guess I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> okay, it all didn't sell, but $100,110 plus a $6,163 environmental score. Yeah, so it turns out I'm not supposed to go through that barn there. All right, lesson learned. And then that little bit right there was 11993 plus a 738 environmental. That's all we got here. Let's take the rest of it over to the BGA now. You know, I kind of thought this would happen. I didn't think I would be able to sell these silage bells here. Let's see if I can figure something out. Maybe just do something like this. Hey, it is working. Yeah, that money is going up. Let's see here, $62,527 plus a $3,849. I guess it works. That was $47,898 plus a $2,949 environmental score. And I believe this is the last of this trailer right here. I do not like how it keeps breaking up and it can't all sell at once. Two bells there, 4,366 plus a 268. Let's get back and get one more load and deliver it here to the BGA again. Here we go. First little drop in there and let's see how much money we end up with. And I hit the wrong button, I think. That first little bit right there was 79,369 plus a $4,886. Nice. And this should be all of it. Hopefully it all counts right in there. Let's find out. $35,260 plus a $2,171 environmental score reward. That is all the silage we have, and I don't know exactly how much money we made total. 
yet, but I could do that in editing, like right here, you know, slap it up here. That's how much money we made, probably quite a bit, because we're up to $780,000 right now. I can't believe it. That is a lot more than I thought we'd be at. I thought the value for all those bells is like $400,000. Maybe that's right then, actually. Now that I think about it, can't even remember what I was at. I think I was in the 200000 though. Well, that environmental score bonus does give pretty good money. I got it all distributed out to different people. That's the main thing here. We need to save Frontier. This is Operation Saving Frontier. So we got to distribute it out evenly, not just go with the biggest, best sell price. Somebody out there is going to try to buy it for more. Well, that's all the time we got for this episode here. And I just want to thank you all so much for stopping in and watching. If y'all haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really mean a lot. If you got any tips, tricks, or suggestions, feel free to leave them down in the comments section. They're always appreciated. And until next time, y'all take care.